So, Madam Speaker, the last or, Madam Leader, you're saying that the President did not need authorization initially and still does not need any authorization from Congress on Libya? Yes. Uh, when I was informed of this uh, uh, attack, uh, the administration took responsibility for it uh, uh, over the weekend. Uh, I said, why did you not consult with Congress? Well, we held it in closely. We held it in clo closely. No, you have a responsibility to consult with Congress. Donald Trump does not have, let me make it clear, does not have the authority to go to war with Iran without congressional, congressional authorization. My bill enumerates five instances where the president may use force. First, to repel without congressional authority at the outset. Without working with Congress, it is not optional. It is not an optional part of his job. First, to repel attack on U.S. territory or U.S. forces. Second, to deal with urgent situations threatening supreme U.S. interests i.e. the Cuban Missile Crisis. Three, to extricate imperiled U.S. citizens. Four, to forestall or retaliate against specific acts of terrorism. Five, to defend against substantial threats to international sea lanes or airspace. No president should ever take the United States to war without securing the informed consent of the American people. Make this is the result of reckless actions by President Trump of military brinksmanship. President Trump recklessly assassinated Qasem Soleimani. He had no evidence of an imminent threat or attack. And we say that coming from a classified briefing where, again, there was no raw evidence presented. Tragically, his actions now put us on the path to another war. He's been erratic and unsuccessful in almost every f previous foreign policy endeavor. This one is the most dangerous of all. We are not safer today than we were before Donald Trump acted. We seem to have accomplished what Soleimani was trying to do but couldn't. So in death, he's actually accomplished his goal. Picking out a bad guy is not a good idea unless you are ready for what comes next. Uh, look, there is no question that Soleimani had American blood on his hands, that he was a bad actor in the region. But if there is anything that we have learned in the last 20 years about the Middle East, it's that taking out a bad guy is not necessarily a good idea. And what we've seen here is no evidence that there's been proper consultation with Congress. But this guy is, you know, was as bad as he was an official of the Iranian government. And you unleash then if China does that. You know, if Russia does that, you know, Russia has been implicated under Putin with assassinating dissidents. So once you're in the business of assassination, you unleash some very, very terrible forces.